Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. On the last day of the Chuseok holidays, health officials are expressing concerns of another nationwide pandemic with a steady increase in the metropolitan area. With daily averages of 1,400 new cases last week, the government set up a measure to improve vaccination rates among domestic foreign workers. According to the National Emergency Management Agency, they plan to standardize what is called a one-stop vaccination procedure, which would assure quicker vaccinations for workers from places that are especially vulnerable from preventative measures and resulting in mass infections. Leaked documents revealed that scientists in the Chinese city of Wuhan plan to alter coronaviruses and release them into bat caves before the pandemic kicked off. According to the UK's Telegraph, scientists from Wuhan set out plans to release a bat coronavirus featuring novel chimeric spike proteins as a plan to inoculate against the virus. They further asked the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, for $14.2 million to fund the project. But they turned down the proposal over concerns that it would put local communities at risk. A WHO researcher speaking anonymously casted doubts about the plans to enhance chimeric viruses and said it was alarming, making infectious chimeric MERS viruses have a fatality rate of over 30%, which is at least an order of magnitude more deadly than SARS-CoV-2. Finally, according to the National Tax Services, tax arrears led up to 10 trillion won. The Seoul metropolitan area accounted for more than 2.6 trillion of that, or 43.7% of the portion from three of the Gangnam districts. Both individuals and corporate entities on tax arrears reached an all-time high, 6.1 trillion for individuals and 3.4 trillion for corporations. The three Gangnam districts have their jurisdiction over tax offices of Gangnam, Samsung, Yeoksam, Seocho, Banpo, Songpa, and Jamsil and are consistently criticized for recording over half of the total amount of arrears each year along with taxpayers who are habitually delinquent in paying their fair share of local taxes. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly discussion segment, News Seminar. <laughs>